Oh, I need one. I need one. <laughs> All right, so here, here we go. He's ready to go. He's going to catch this after one bounce. How many think he can do it on the first bounce? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> How many think he can do two? <laughs> That was a tough bounce. He's, sometimes they bounce right straight up. That's a great right position for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do kids like these? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Okay, so agility. Agility bounce. So one, one more thing with, with, with agility. <laughs> Talk about group dynamics. Right? Never ask for a ball in a group lesson. <laughs> Think about that one. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're, we're into coordination. I'm going to go through quick, right, coordination, because I've got a couple things that are really, really simple. You can do these with little kids. And uh, I need two people, two people. I need, I need a racket. Where's my racket? How am I doing, all right? I'm doing pretty doggone good. I couldn't even walk a month ago. I'm pretty excited. Who needs, I need two people with rackets. Right? Three, three people with rackets. We're going to have two people do this. I'm going to come over. So here, here's what this is. Coordination. We're going to mirror. And so, so uh, what's going to happen? William, I want you to pin that ball against my, yeah. And what's coordination? Moving different body parts. So we're going to do this. You're going to follow whatever I do, and then we're going to do this at the same time. One of the first things I did with a ball and a racket with my two-year-old grandson. What happened? He's laughing the whole time. Right? And you just make sure you've got enough pressure. Right? So little kids. Uh, another one. Everybody, grab a partner, quick, 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 grab a partner, somebody you haven't dealt with. Oh, go ahead, you can you, do, your, do your, your mirror. This is your mirror. All right, go. All right, well, your partner, Jason, you're my partner this time. All right, and all, all we're going to do, yeah, all we're going to do is we're going to move side to side. We're going to side shuffle, but at the same time, we're going to be giving each other a high tense. All right, so we're going to go this way, right into the group. All right, so it looks just like this. All right. Oh. You can breathe. <laughs> With your partner, go. Okay, good, good, good. Here we go. Next six are gonna. I'm just gonna demonstrate. Or we're just gonna go. Oh, 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 oh. I got this one. This is this is pretty cool. What's the star jump? What's a star jump? That's a jumping jack. It's star, yeah. I'm a star. I'm a star. I'm a star. Who can do that? Who can do that? Who can do I'm a star? I'm a star, right. So that's a star jump. What's a jumping jack? Right. What's a seal jump? <laughs> Your arms are going in and out. Yeah, right. Uh, here's one. Here's one. I want you to, ooh, this is a good one. Get a group of three. Quick, one. Three, group of three. Or like Yogi Berra might say, pair up, pair up in threes. <laughs> that's, that's a Yogi Bearism, right? So you got a group of three. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to go, this one's called over, under, around, and through. Right? No rackets. No rackets. I need, I need two people to be my demonstrators. So no rackets. Right? It's you and me. Over. Over, step over. <laughs> Under, around, around, uh huh. All the way. And through. <laughs> New person. Over, under, around, and through. Go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, 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 
Or you can just step, step, oh yeah, you can step over the wall. See that one, Carl? <laughs> Story about your back. A, a week after you were, I saw you in May. Uh -huh. I, had, I, I was walking with a cane. Yeah, I'm, I'm still packing a cane. Yeah. Okay. Good. You like? You like that one? Yeah. 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 Next one. Here we go. We're gonna pass this ball around in a 360. Go. Coordination. I know, say, uh, oh, okay. This is three of the very similar ones, right? This is a it, it's a partner dance, but you can do it. The first one you can do with a wall, right? So you can you're standing here and you're just going there. You can do that with a partner. Can you do that with a partner? Can you do that with a soccer ball? <clears throat> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> okay, do it against a wall or find a partner and do it. So you're just alternating feet, just. And good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these guys. Yeah. Oh, I like I like this. This is creativity, right? Good, 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 good. Okay, so that's that's good. That's a, that's a hard one. I like to do it with a partner. The wall's boring. The ball's a little bit more fun with a partner's fun. Right? They like to do that. Irish dance is called. Right? And then you can set up, you can do some things with, with cones or, or spots or agility you're, or you're dribbling, but you're going around cones. Watch that you're not trying to jump over things because they'll trip over those things. But you can, you can go figure eights, you can do some different things with, with rackets and balls. No. Steph Curry stuff, kind of stuff. All right, running form. Let's talk about running form. Let's all come down here. And so you're all on the sideline facing me. And let's get you doing some running things yeah I, I, okay that's that's fine that's fine we can extend all the way down let's talk about running form because what we're talking about we can we can do some coaching so you said oh, i've never taught about how to run how to run properly but with with just a few things you can say yeah that makes sense and i can help kids run faster and like i said every kid likes to run faster right so one of the things we we want to do is we want to make sure that that their head's steady that things aren't going side to side, that go, they're going forward, that we're coordinating our arms and our legs, and we have the proper lean forward. And we, when we put those things together, we can create some good running form. So one of, the things, <laughs> one of the things that I have them do, kids do, is I have them do a crazy run. Okay, I want you to run, but I want your arms and your legs just to go all over the place, right? I ask adults to do that, and they go, eh, yeah, nah, not so much, right? Tell kids to do that. You gave me a crazy run. You can get some crazy runs, right, David? You, you know what I'm talking about. So, so here's what I want you to do. I'm, we're going we're to do some, some things with your head and your lean and your arms. So one of the things, when we run, where is, where is our foot striking? How does our foot strike the court? <laughs> Toes. So what, how, how, what does that mean? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to be on one foot, and I want you just to move your foot, and I want you to paw back the ground. Right? So your, your heel really never hits the ground, right? Do that on the other foot. Can you move your arms? And one of the things I like to do when I'm having them move their arms, I'll have them hold on to two rackets, which does what? Prevents this kind of stuff. They don't cross over, but they, their, their arms are moving forward. You can take a look at an Olympic sprinter, and their hands are going right straight out. Usain Bolt, right there. 
after got, a year. Got nothing out of them. <laughs> uh, how about the what? What? And so we've we've got some things to watch. How about the lean? This is really this is a, this is a good one. How about the lean now? All I want you to do is I want you to stand up straight, and I want you to lean forward from the ground. So I don't want you to lean forward this way. I want you to lean forward right from your ankles. And you're going to get to a certain spot, and you're going to have to take a couple steps forward. All right? Try that. Just try that. Okay, let me, let me do a little coaching now. Here's, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this. I want your body upright. Right, your head straight, your, your, your head right over your shoulders, and I just want you to lean forward. That's your maximum, that's your optimum speed body lean. Because when you do that, what happens? Well, you've got to move forward to catch your, catch your weight, and that is self-propelling you. Right? Now, what, that's my next step. So we've got the, we've got the lean, we've got that you're, that you're pawing the ground, you're not hitting your heel. Where is your foot landing then? When you, at ma maximally your foot lands right under your knee. So if they're landing out here, what's actually happening? You, you see this, if you can slow motion everybody down, if your foot lands out here, what happens? You're actually breaking every time you hit the ground because your foot is pushing against the ground rather than moving forward off the ground. How many steps and how frequent, how frequent are your steps? It all depends on how much you can stride and still land without landing on your heel. And they had studies, until Usain Bolt came along, they had studies that showed that almost everybody in a 100 meter dash had the same number of strides, about the same different stride length. Then Bolt came along and he's running fewer strides with greater, strength, greater length. But what is he, like 6'5 or something like that? Yeah. So maybe that's the, the optimum size for the future. Um, so that's, let's see what else we can do. Um, how about, how about your arms? Yeah. Just, how about this? Can everybody march? Stand in place and just march, but I want you opposite arm and opposite length. And if you're running, it's like your arms are going to be at a 90 degree, 90 degree, and your, your, your back arm is going to go back by your pocket and then out by your chin. Now, when you think about that, <laughs> it's really easy to do this type of thing. Right? You want to make sure your opposite arm, opposite leg. How, how important is that? Everything that we do on the tennis court is opposite arm, opposite leg. Here, here, everything is opposite, opposite. So that's pretty, pretty important that we coordinate that, we get that so that's ingrained. All right, so that's good. Arms, uh, head up, eyes forward, lean from the ankles, uh, paw back, that's good. All right, um, let's, in the same position, I said we'd wait for this one. Uh, I've got uh, uh, six things we're going to do for skipping. How do you teach somebody to skip? How important is skipping? Really important, right. So, so we need to teach people how to skip. Yeah, uh, well, it's just skipping forward, okay? So, so how do you teach somebody how to skip? Have you ever taught a kid how to skip? No, <laughs> I, I take that as a no, right? So, so how do you, so, so you're, you're marching, right? We've got our march, and all you're going to do is add a little hop before you put your next foot down. So everybody's going to give me a march, march, march forward, and then add a little hop. And you're all expert skippers. Hey, turn around, turn around, come back the other way. All right, come back the other way. And I can watch you. You got the, let's see, make sure you're using your arms. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, here we go. Now, let's make this fun. Challenge you. This time, you're going to move all the way down. You're going to go to the blue line. You're going to go to the blue line, but I want you to skip as fast as your feet will go. Not any, anything else, but you just want to go as fast. <laughs> My legs aren't working as fast as you can go, like 10 times faster than I'm going, right? It's not a race, just you get a lot of, a lot of, a lot of contacts as, as fast as you can make contact, go. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, same thing, this time 
we're going to exaggerate it. We're going to use arms and legs, but this time we're going to go as high as you can. So you're going to, you, and, and again, opposite arm, opposite leg, but you're going to ex explode off the ground. So it's going to be here, skip, and skip, and skip. Arms where? Straight ahead? Head where? Straight ahead. Go. Good. Want a tough one? Turn sideways. Everybody face this direction. I want you to skip moving laterally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. think about that. You're going to be skipping laterally. Go. Okay. And the last one, last one you see, if you ever go to a track meet, you see the sprinters doing this all the time. It's a skip with a kick. All right, so you're going to skip and kick out. And you paw back. All right? And the sprinters, they're, getting, they're, they're, they're taking you steps like nine feet. Unbelievable, they, because they can really explode, but they kick out. Go. Good. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, oh yeah, I see this one. So, the other one is, we know that, that uh, on the recovery, the foot goes back when, when you recover. And if you, if you watch football players in the mud, right, they get mud all the way up, the, their, all the way up their back because they're, they, they kick back so hard and the, the, the mud goes up. So, so, you know, we do these dynamic things called butt kicks. Right? So we put our hands behind and we kick up and back. And 99 times out of 100, I'm seeing not what I want to see at all. What I'm looking for is I want them to kick back. I want them at least to have the lower leg parallel to the court. Right? So you, you can just march and, and do that. Right? So you want, you want that to happen. Now, usually when I see this happen, this is what I see. Is that... How fast is a kid going to run with his head and his body's bent over? Horrible. Horrible. So you want to do the same thing with your, your body up, your eyes up, your head up, and moving straight forward. So walk first, and then add a little bit of a jock. Okay, go. Accelerate. Good, good. Yeah, I like that. That's very good. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> 